All right, guys. Got something new to show you guys. And it's got nothing to do with this system. The system's working perfect the way it is. I'm not changing it right now just because I don't have enough solar power to change it. I only got 1500 watts. And that beast of a inverter can use up a whole lot more than 1500 watts. So, until I go out and buy more panels, which I can do, but not right now. And I want to get another charge controller. This can support another 500 watts. I want another 1500. So if I get another one of those, plus 1500 watts worth of panels, I'll be set up pretty much with the setup I want. <coughs> Batteries are working amazing. But on to what I want to show you guys. I got some new toys. I ordered this off eBay. This is a special order. This is a special custom inverter that I ordered for these batteries. Because these are 33 volts, actually a little more than 33 volts, fully charged. And I want to put two together in series. So it's going to end up being a 16S configuration. Uh, and then I'm going to put all the extra cells that I have in parallel to these. So it's going to be 16S and whatever parallel I end up doing. So this one's charged and I'm charging this one and then I'm going to hook it up to this inverter. And on this inverter, these are the speci specifications that I chose. You know it's a good inverter when it's extremely heavy. And it's extremely heavy. Okay, so we'll focus. There we go. Input voltage 60 volts, that's perfect. I'm going to be input putting about 67 volts, 66 volts. Output voltage, 120, frequency, 60 hertz. That's exactly what I ordered. Very happy that it came quickly, and uh, I really like it so far. Have not even powered it up yet. I don't even know if it works, so we'll find out. <coughs> I also ordered these 8S BMS boards. I only ordered four of these for now. I wanna test them out, see how they work. They got a temperature uh, thermometer or whatever on it, on it, so I can slide it in between the cracks, put it right in the middle. Those will get the hottest. I'll have the temperature of my batteries, and that will keep this pack balanced. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna try it with just one pack. This is only about four to amp, five amp hours of battery but they can dump a ridiculous amount of power within uh, a few minutes. So we're gonna play with that. Looks like my battery voltage is coming up. It's only pulling, uh, we're only charging at 2.7 amps, when, or on this one I mean. When we first started, uh, we were at seven amps. So it means I can crank the buck converter voltage up. Yep, yeah, we're staying within temperature range, charging off my massive gel battery bank and we're gonna see if this thing works powers up and how well it works it's one of those Chinese ones you know because it's got this stupid plug that fits everything yay I'll end up taking this off probably and hard wiring it into what I'm making and I'm wondering if anybody can guess what I'm making already um, with what you see right here all right I'm gonna cover the camera I got something else. I got three more uh, of these Hyundai hybrid battery packs. Three here. That is one whole pack right there. And then what's left there and there is left over of the first pack that I got. But I'm going to have a ridiculous amount of lithium batteries. I only got uh, <coughs> four more. I was listening to uh, suggestions on YouTube and what people think I should do. I had, I'm able to get 16 of these, but uh, I decided to just go with the, fir the four at first. Um, I can afford that for now. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go with that. This is still a ridiculous amount of power. So what I've decided to build with this is a power wall. I'm going to build 
a 66 volt lithium battery power wall with this 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. I'm going to put a oscilloscope on this and see how pure sine wave it is. And I'm also going to do a review and then I might put uh, the seller of this in the link. This guy sells these from 12 volts, 24, 36, 48, 60, 96 volts. And I think 96 is his highest, but I'm, I can't remember. It might have gone to 110 volts as well. I think it actually did go to 110 volts. But uh, yeah, my next thing will be putting these balance boards on these packs so I can charge them safely. Right now I'm just charging it because I, I checked the cells and they're pretty balanced, so they should be fine charging for this one test. <coughs> and we're gonna see if this thing runs. Well, I'll update you guys when I get to it. All right, so I got it together. Great thing about these packs, I can use the original bus bars that came with this battery, which is awesome. I got impatient. This battery is sitting at uh, 28 or 29 volts. This one's sitting at 32 almost. But I'm going to run it like this because I'm impatient. I don't want to wait for it to charge. We're sitting at 60 volts exactly. That is this uh, operating voltage. It can go a little higher, a little lower, but that's what we're sitting at. <coughs> and do we have life? So this is input or output voltage. It's a little high. That means stuff will take more power. Some stuff will run better, some won't. 60.7 volts. And my volt meter says 60.2 volts. So it's pretty accurate. And let's see how it runs. Let's drill. That fluctuates a lot, that output voltage. I'm wondering if this is one of the type of, in, of inverters that no matter what would run your load but let it dip in voltage. So this is the, we're staying at the input voltage. It's staying quite uh, constant, so let's try something a little bigger. Put that off to the side. Now this, I'm really being ballsy by trying this because this I know takes about 4,000 watts to start and <clears throat> these batteries should not be able to run it there's only two packs so I'm kind of scared don't want to wreck it and I don't want to blow my inverter but I'm going to run this anyways so here we go That is impressive. This is this is one of those inverters. <coughs> well, that's the input voltage duped down to 100, under 100 volts, and then it slowly climbs again. I, it's, some people won't like it. Like if you're running delicate electronics off this, say in your house, and you start something big in your garage, it's going to drag the voltage down, which is going to make everything in your house work harder. Transformers, everything's going to have to work harder and then it'll go back up. Uh, it, this is really good for this type of power tools. Like, these should not be able to run this, but they did, no problem. <clears throat> and that's partially because of the inverter and because these have insane amount of power. Like, look how many I'm gonna have. Those, so this comes out of one battery. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, there's one missing, there's nine. There's actually one more out of here. Actually, it's this one right here. This one came out of there as well. So nine per battery, and I have three more to dissect. So I'm going to have a ton of these. This is going to be the heart of it. Um, and yeah, I'm just super, super impressed that it runs. Here we go. Ready? So you guys can see. Wow, I am so impressed with this thing. I'm impressed with the inverter. I'm impressed with the batteries. I'm very, very happy with this setup. Like, this is a very easily car carryable system. Tape these to the top, done. I can run a power saw. Maybe not for long, but 
it did come up in voltage again back to 60 volts I am very impressed I'm liking this a lot I don't know what to run next uh, but I, I can't believe this wow Well, anyways, that's what I got so far. Batteries, not warm. They're designed for this. They're designed for insane amounts of load. I'll even show you on my multimeter. Let's see what if, what this catches. Now, I'm curious. Let's watch the inrush current. I'll turn this to 400. Let's see what this is. So, it is taking... Let's see here. How can I do this so you guys can see it? You guys see that? Okay, so it's taking... It's saying 6 amps. That's not right. Hold on a second here. Still saying 6 amps. Now it's not. Okay, hold on. Let's see now. There we go. Now it's not saying anything. Now let's see what this thing takes. This is at 60 volts, remember. It went up to 47 amps per second. So that means that this can provide about the same amount of power as this one. That's that's awesome because this can provide quite a bit of power. And this is a Chinese version and it's pure sine wave and it's almost the same price. It's actually cheaper than that one if you pay full price. That one's cheaper if you get it on sale. So this can provide approximately 25 amps at 120 volts. That's good. I'm very happy with that actually. That's about 3000 watts. That means this has no surge which is fine. It is 3,000 watts, which is just fine. I got this thing for, oh, I wanted to pay for this. It was pretty cheap, around 300 bucks. And that's an extremely good deal for this inverter, especially a custom voltage one like this one. And it's working extremely well. One last test. I really like this in, uh, output voltage display. That's really nice actually. For a cheapy unit, I like this unit a lot. So far, recommend this brand. But uh, long term testing on the way. I have now doubled my capacity on the hooked up cell. So this is fully charged 66 volts or 67 volts, fully charged 67 volts. And now this is a 2P 67 volt 16S LiPo cell. Um, it's fairly large only because it's got uh, air pockets or air gaps in between for cooling. It's also got uh, it's got this aluminum that sandwiches the cells, which takes up actually quite a bit of room because it's got these uh, ribs built into it to keep the cells. Uh, tight together so they cannot swell and this actually is what makes it so they last so long under these extreme conditions so they don't puff they probably wouldn't last near as long without it and once I get all these charged and hooked up I'm gonna see if that inverter here if it still sags in voltage down with the the circular saw that's that takes quite a bit of power for starting very happy that this even runs it. I was skeptical, but just the fact it runs it, it's a good inverter. But uh, I want to see if I can prevent it from going down like one of the times it said it went down to 96 volts, which is kind of low, but the fact that it starts it still is very, very good. Very happy with it. And uh, yeah, if I can keep that uh, sagging from going down just by either beefing up these input cables which is, this is only like 8 gauge. Let's see if it says on it or not. This is what it comes with. It's all Chinese. 
can't see what it says. Yeah, it's just, it's cheapy, super thin cable. I'm gonna beef this up to like four times its size and put like, uh, I don't know, some two watt cable on it or something like that. I have three out as well. I got lots of cables. Put one of these on it, that should do it. This is quite a bit bigger. There you go. Let's see if that'll focus. Come on, there we go. There's the size of my thumb in comparison. This is, uh, I believe this is 3 aught. I also have some 4 aught right there. So, we'll see. We're going to put some good input cables on it and, uh, and go from there. And that is only, that is less than half of one pack, and I have five of these total. Actually, four and a half of these total to play with. So, we're going to make us a sweet power wall. So this is going to be the video for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like button. Helps a lot. And uh, keep viewing. And I'll keep coming out with some good videos.